Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Hello, Miguel. Hello, Carla. Hello, Hello Eliana. Hello. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Also. Wow, my, my camera is... <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Eliana. Okay. Okay, we are gonna wait a little bit for the rest. Okay, have only four people connected. Hey, welcome back. Hope you're willing to start a new journey, a new class, okay, and to learn a little bit more about the second language, okay? Uh, we're okay. going to start with a new with a new topic, okay? So it's going to be about simple past. Uh, yesterday you had a homework, right? What was that homework, uh, Carla? What was the homework all about? Uh, I can say it in, in Spanish. Uh, no, not really, <laughs> Miguel. I'm so sorry. Okay, it's about uh, healthy, physically and mentally. Help? I don't know. It's yeah, like that's confused. right. How to keep healthy? <laughs> how 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 can we keep healthy mentally and physically? That was a homework, right? <clears throat> Uh, uh, can I share? Uh, share the information, Carla? No, 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 no. I have the information. Uh, I do my homework. <laughs> yeah, I, I but... know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, my question was no, my question, no, my just my question was um uh, excuse me i have much dog yeah many dogs there uh, yes yes okay now you see tonight we are going to we're going to go over a new topic that simple pass okay we're going to see also about what you investigated on how to keep all our um ourselves healthy mentally and physically I don't know if Ileana, Ileana, did you get some info about it? Yes, teacher, I found some information. Okay, you wanna share us, share the info with us? Uh, yes, uh, I made like a presentation, a short presentation, a very short presentation. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I want to share the screen. Okay, keep in mind. Meanwhile, the rest of the people got there. We're going to see a, a good presentation on how to keep yourself healthy. Pretty good. Can you see my screen? Yeah, we, we do. We can see your screen. Okay. Um, well, this is based on my experience and also uh, some information I gather. Uh, let me check. Um, first, about how to keep um, yourself healthy. Uh, first, what you have to do is to to be um to keep yourself healthy physically you have to do exercise which is really important you can do exercise like 30 minutes per day and i also you have to be careful with food i mean you can eat any kind of food but you have to regulate uh like junk food because it's okay like to eat a hamburger um per, uh, one per week for example but not uh, if you want to eat like that kind of food every day right 
So you have to control yourself <laughs> because it's very difficult, but um, you have to be careful with that kind of food. Also, um, you have to go to the doctor because um, there are some um, different type of diseases that we are we are not aware of. So we have to go to the doctor so a professional can give us a um, diagnostic. How do you say that? Did they know about uh, okay. how healthy a person is? Uh -huh. A diagnose uh, about how healthy um, we are. And mentally, what I can suggest is, oops, uh, first is to meditate. Um, you can um, talk to yourself about what you have, about what you have done in a day, about the good things and bad things that have happened um, in your day. It's really important that you be aware that sometimes it's okay not to be okay. And also I recommend to go to a psychologist because they are like professionals, right? And as we take care of our body, I mean, physically, we have to take care of our mind. Because in my case, I suffered a depression when we were in quarantine. And I didn't, um, I didn't take care of my mind at that time. So I think that when I went to the psychologist, she recommended a lot of strategies to control uh, certain behaviors, behaviors, and that helped me a lot. So right now I can tell you that I am careful about what, uh, what I see, what I do, and that helps to keep your, your mind healthy. And yeah. That would be all. Good. You know, a, a doctor can provide a diagnosis about how healthy you are physically, right? Yes. And a psychologist can provide another type of a diagnosis on uh, how healthy you are or how healthy a person is mentally talking. Yes. And also Pretty he can good. refer you to a psychiatrist. Uh, okay. A psychiatrist. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, if you, because I mean, the psychologist uh, can't give you like medicine, yeah. but the psych psychiatrist, uh, yeah. psychiatrist can provide you medicine. Yeah, that's really good. Mentally talking. Pretty good. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Congrats. Okay, I have uh, five people in the group. And still waiting for so we, uh, with I think we still have some more time. Uh, who who else wants to participate? Is there any other person who wants to provide info about how to keep uh, healthy? Some pieces of advice. Yes, uh, I didn't do a presentation, but I shared the information. Excellent, Miguel, go ahead. Okay, wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, I, I find um, uh, yeah, that uh, stay. Uh, we should stay active. Uh, uh, do exercise every day, at least thirty minutes. Um, it avoid junk food, uh, fast food, or processed food. I think this is the it's the same. I don't know. Uh, sleep at seven hours at night. At night. Um, uh, do to the doc go to the doctor to for checking your health. Uh, 
avoid the stress, the alcohol or tobacco. Mm. Yeah, learn to share mental burdens, problems with your family, your uh, close people. Uh, that's it. I don't know, it's correct. It's all right, it's perfect. Pretty cool, Miguel, congrats for doing your best effort. Is there any other person who wants to participate? Carla? <laughs> I don't do a presentation. No, no problem. problem. But can I go, can I do comments? Sure. Okay. I believe that in order to maintain physical and mental health, all you need is the desire to want to get ahead. Only that. Okay, thank you. Very good. Francisco, did you get something? Hello, uh, good evening. Um, in my case, um, I don't have printed session because, but I, I talk to in my case. Um, I go to exercise every day and I go to road bike cycling and I go to gym. But I don't have, I don't, um, I, I don't, um, I don't lose weight because my uh, uh, meals is the problem. And I take change, I can change the 18, five meals, uh, 18, two meals. Uh, every day, this uh, uh, this this ex discipline for me uh, is more functional because I use my body using my energy uh, for 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 the exercise and no uh, uh, no sé cómo se dice, usa mi grasa en mi cuerpo, uh, en inglés. Ok, uh, my body uses my, uh, mi grasa uh, for uh, how the energy uh, only uh, when I'm on 18 to All right, fantastic. Yeah, Thank I, you, Francisco. Ok. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, you know, I, I, I want... I want to share something for you, uh, I mean, with you, just to remember about uh, what we are, that we need to finish some activities uh, this week, okay? Uh, remember that uh, we are in the first, in the first week, and that we need to finish all the activity from section one and section two, okay? So, uh, I know tonight we're going to, to start with section two and maybe we're not going to be able to finish all the activities tonight, but you know, you will have time during the weekend so that you can finish uh, the activities in the platform, okay? So uh, this is going to be like the first homework. Si no logramos terminar las actividades ahora de la sección dos, pues les van a quedar de tarea para que ustedes puedan eh, terminarlas entre el día sábado y el día domingo, para que el lunes pues ya eso ya, ya esté terminadito y podamos iniciar con la sección 3, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, so, well, you know, we're going to start uh, talking about past. We're going to start talking about past, ¿ok? And... The info I have here is the following. Over here, uh, we're gonna see a, a conversation. We're gonna listen to a conversation where two people are gonna talk about what they did during the past weekend. Okay, the the video is is for you to introduce the simple past tense. Okay. Did you do anything? Did you do anything? And we're gonna go over it. Some people are going to help me to read the second time. Then we're going to uh, to notice about uh, which are the statements in simple past, and then we're going to move on to the grammar itself. All right? 
Now pay attention. Uh, give me one second, give me one second. Give me one second, cause I think I didn't share the audio. Yeah, that's right. Now, yes, it, here we go. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. <laughs> studied for today's... All right. Okay, now, uh, can you tell me um, the verse that you see in the simple past form? went so what did you do last weekend meg oh i had a great time do we have simple past form there had when had, had okay went had went sang some uh, that sounds like fun did you go to lackeys no i mean statements in the simple past form it could be it, but the, okay, yeah. it's a question. Okay, this refers to simple past. This is the auxiliary. Okay, now we did it. We went to that new place downtown. Forgot. Huh? forgot. Oh, we have forgot. Give me one second, please. We went. Okay, we went. State. Stayed. Studied. Studied. <laughs> Forgot. Forgot. Forget. I think they are Sweet enough, weekend. right? Yeah. Didn't go. Didn't go. Didn't go. Is there any other one? Thanks. Give me one second, please. It's Spanish. Yeah, it's fine. It's, uh, forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. I think we don't have uh, more verbs in the simple past, right? So the first one is a question. What did you do last weekend, Meg? It is a question that's in simple past form. Hey, I will ask two people to help me to read. All right? Uh, let me see. Uh, Catherine, hello there. You're gonna help me to read tonight. And also, let me see, hey, Jonathan. Jonathan, you will play the role for Rick. Okay, so you start. Okay. Uh, so what did you last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Loki's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place, Tom Tom. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere a weekend. I just, I just studied home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I first forget how about you that. Don't worry, you always get an A. All right, thank you. Hey, you know we're gonna play. We're, I will play once again. We're gonna listen to it and then we're going to repeat. Okay. 
We're going to repeat. Did you do anything special? Now here we go. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Okay, can somebody read the first part? Anybody in the group, please. Anybody in the group, don't worry. I, I mean, did you listen to the, to the expression? Here we go. We're going to listen to it once again. Yeah. What is your instructions, teacher, for this conversation? I will play, I will play the conversation and I will pause it so that you can you can repeat, okay? Oh we with the microphone on. Yeah, that's right. Not, oh. not everybody at the same time, but only one person. Oh, okay. Todos lo van a repetir, pero solo una persona este va a abrir el micrófono. Okay, eh, quien lo desea hacer puede hacerlo. Here we go. We can, Meg. Oh. Give me one second, please. Identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Uh -huh. Who wants to help me with the first part? Me. Okay, go ahead, Miguel. Frank. So, what do you do? Oh. <laughs> Miguel or Frank, it's all right. Oh, go ahead, Miguel. Okay. okay, thanks. So, what did you do last weekend, Mike? Perfect, very good. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Okay, so can somebody else help me with the second part? Adriana, go ahead, Adriana. Oh, I had a great time. I went to the karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Good. Let's continue. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Jesse? Ah, okay, go ahead. Who said me? Me, okay, sorry. That sound like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Okay, so that, that sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Did that's, you go to Lucky's? Sounds. That so, that sounds. 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 Like, sounds. Sounds. Like sounds. All right. Like that sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Good. Pretty good. Next part. No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, yes. Jesse? Me. Ah, all right. Go ahead. We didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Do you did you go anywhere? Wow, fantastic. Next part. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. All right. Anybody else? Miguel wants to participate again. Go ahead, Miguel. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Good. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. All right. Anybody else? Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Our Spanish test, our Spanish test is today, our. All right, and the last part. Don't worry, you always get an A. Jonathan, go ahead. Don't worry, you always get an A. Don't worry, you always get an A, get an A. All right, pretty good. So you see, that's a, uh, that's a way for you to uh, put into practice the pronunciation. Okay. And uh, as far as I know, uh, we, uh, uh, I introduced the simple path form, all right? The simple past statements, okay? Now we're going to see, you know, in English, we have two group of verbs. 
to groups of verbs. Some of them are regular and some others are irregular. Okay? And that's what we're going to study tonight. Okay? Simple class with regular and irregular verbs. Take a look at it, please. What is all about? Hey, I will ask some question about, about the video at the end. Take a look, please. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Question. The verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to. Use the auxiliary did, and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. All right. So actually, this is just for you to have a general idea about what's all up, uh, regarding to simple past uh, form. If I say they went to the park last weekend, this is simple past, right? But if I want to um, make negative or interrogative statements, we are going to have to, I mean, we, we need to use the auxiliary did. I woke up late this morning and she came late to class. Okay, the three of them are irregular verbs, okay? But previously, I think we had like some, some regular verbs. Like for example, work. Work is regular because the, uh, the past form ends in ET, all right? Work. As you can see, when we have a question, did you work on Saturday? on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. If the answer is negative, no, I didn't. I didn't work all day. Okay? We have just no questions, and we also have double H questions with simple past form. We're going to practice a little, okay? And, you know, I will try to get some, some more info. Okay, but sometimes it is better to, to practice than um, studying a lot of grammar, grammatical structures. For example, what do you say over here? How do you say um, signo interrogación in English? Interrogative in the simple past. Yeah, this is a question mark, right? Question mark. Yes. Yeah, it's a question mark. So. Yeah, I, 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 I could notice about it. That's why I, I move on to the, to the exercise, okay? Now, we have a question mark. So that means that we need to create a, a question on here. So first off, what did I tell you 
about how to create questions in simple past. What do we need? Um, auxiliary. Ah, the auxiliary deal. Pretty good. And what happens with the verb? Uh, the verb change. Uh -huh. Are they? I don't remember the rules, but any verbs change the form uh, to add ed, id, no, id. Oh, okay, okay, Miguel, I think you want to say something. Thank you very much. We're going to clarify. Okay, okay when it's a question, the bird, uh, uh, must be in in the base form. Excellent. For example, go, uh, uh, go, this uh, learn, uh, this uh, sleep. Uh, that's oh, it. Okay, very good. So you are answer you are answering my questions, right? So you say we need an auxiliary, but where do we need it? Over here, or over here, in the in the first place or in the second one. In the first. In the first, of course, right? So did you what? Stay. What Stay. is the best option? First, second, or third one? The third, third one. one. Third, third one. Third one, right? Because you use the auxiliary deed and the verb needs to remain in the base form, as Miguel said. Miguel was the one who said it, right? Very good. Now, this is the, the, the best option, right? So did you stay home on Saturday? Not the best, but the correct one. Now let us go over the second one. Now, no. So what does it mean? We're going to have a, a negative statement over here. What do we need to create negative statements, people? The second one. No, no, uh, listen to me. What do we need to create negative statements? Didn't. Ah, we did. We need didn't. Didn't. What else no. do we need? Not at the bird. Ah, oh. we need a bird in Miguel the said base. Right? Oh, in the that? base form. Pretty good. So what would be the best option for the second one? No, I, I didn't call. Uh, so no, I didn't. Okay, first, second, or third one? First. 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 They say first. first. So that means that over here, we need to have like, no, I didn't call. And then, you, as you can see over here, we have a period, right? And after the period, we have another statement, but the statement is in the in the in a positive uh, a form. So that's why we need the verb in which form? Past. Past. In the past form. Past. Pretty good. That's why this is the correct one. Excellent. No, I didn't call. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Perfect. Now let's go over the number three. How? This is a double H question. Okay, it belongs to its family. But what else do we need? So we have another question mark. Pro, what do we need? Did? Ah, we did. We need the auxiliary uh, did. Uh, and what else do we need? The last one. Ah, we verb. need a verb in the base form. What is the best option? I mean, the correct one. First, the second, verb. or third the one? Last one. The third, third one. one. Third one. Last one. How did you spend your last birthday? Good. Number four. Over here, you see, there is a period over here. This is a statement. Okay. So that means that the statement is in the in the past, and it is positive. It's a positive statement. Then we have everyone enjoy it, but the neighbors not like the noise. So. As you can see, we have positive statement. This is positive statement. First positive statement, second one, positive statement. But in the third one, we have a negative one. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult because we have three statements. What do you think is the best option? Where's the correct yes. option? Second, I think the second one. one. Let me see. I have 
a party. Everyone enjoyed, but uh, the neighbors didn't like. Okay, very good. All right. And I think we, we still have like more examples here, more exercises. Now we have a double H. We know that what is the rule, people? What, what, what do we hear over here? What do we need over here? The auxiliary. The auxiliary. The auxiliary did. Eh, what do we need over here? Do. The uh, base. We, we need first one. The verb in the base form. So you say the first one. So who yes. wants to read the statement? What did you do last night? Good. What did you do last night? Good. Number six. Go. Positive statement. What is the path for go? Went. 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 Very good. What is the path for love? Loud. 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 What is the what is the correct option then? The, the last, third one? One. last one. Uh, the third one. Very good. Who wants to read the statement? I went to the new gym, Harry film. I loved it. Excellent. Very good. Number seven. Now, uh, you see, what are we studying? Simple present or simple past? Simple past. Simple past. What is the auxiliary for simple past? Yeah. 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 What is the auxiliary for simple present? Does. Ah, okay, so that means that the first one cannot be possible. Yeah. Do and does. Yeah, that, I mean, the first one, it's a possibility. Is there any possibility for the first one? No. No, no That's impossible. right? That's impossible. What about the second one? Yes. Yes. Who wants to read it? Do you do anything special over the weekend? Do you do any, do you do anything special over the weekend? Good. Number eight. We have yes. Okay, when you answer yes or no, what is, how do you complete the statement? Yes, I did. Yes, yes. I did. If you say no, no, I didn't. Ah, uh, no, I did. All right. So, but over here we have yes, 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 I did. Where is the path for go? When. When. So, what when. is the statement over here? Yes, yes, I did. I went shopping. Okay, very good. Yes, I did. I went shopping. Now let's move on to the next part. Unfortunately, where is the path for Spain? Spent. Spent. Okay, who wants to read it? Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Now I'm broke. Now I am broke. What is the best uh, or the correct option then? The first the one. First one. First the first one. one? Yes, I did. I went and I spent. Good. Number nine. It's a question. You know, it's a question. Uh huh. Did you? Did you, did you think? Do you think at the party Bank? was? What is the what is the correct one? The second, second one. one. Third one. Uh, do you think at the party? And I think this is the last one, people. Yeah, this is the last one. So no. Didn't. didn't no i didn't and the I, first one is the first okay yeah, no first. i didn't i was sick okay now we're going to finish we're going to check and you you'll see we will see okay we will see what's going on here okay now you see sometimes it's better to go over the grammar structures in a video and see what's all about, but uh, I think it is better when we put it into practice. Si se fijan, vimos el video, okay. Y reco eh, reconocimos algunas cosas referente al pasado, pero ya cuando lo hacemos eh, de forma práctica es mucho mejor, okay. If you, if you see over here, number one, it's correct. Number two, okay, no problem. Number three, you did it. Number four, it's all right. Number five, it's all right. Number six, it's okay. Number seven, actually you got a 10 over here. Se sacaron 10 en esta actividad. Okay, ahora, ¿hay preguntas respecto a esto? Not really? Yes or no? Not for now. Not for now. 
Okay, so we're going to continue then. Uh, well, if you have questions, then just let me know it. We have some something else over here. Um, we will continue talking about past simple, right? Or simple past. We're going to see some details regarding to pronunciation. Okay. Um, we will see. Well, this is this is an audio. Okay, it says, listen to John and Laura and describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. Uh, well, we're gonna see the, the questions first, then we're gonna listen to the audio, okay? Who had a boring time? Laura, John, or both? You are gonna let me know about it, okay? Okay, people? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, that's the first question. Who had a boring time? You will listen to it. Who had a good time? Laura, John, or both? Who met an old friend? Laura, John, or both? Who got home late? Laura, John, or both? And that's it, right? Both. And that's it. So, pay attention. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Did you get uh, the whole info? Who had a boring time? John. John. Some people say both, some people say, say hey, John. I say both. John. John. John was the one. Well, I, I, I will choose the one that you tell me. Then we're going to listen to it the last time. Who had a good time? Laura. 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 Who made an old friend? Laura. Laura. Laura too. Laura. Laura too. Who got home late? Both. 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 Now we're gonna listen to it this, the last time, and then you will tell me if they are correct or not. Listen to it, please. Oh my goodness. Let me see. All right. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah. I guess you're right. All right. So I think Laura. we're going to check it. Okay. I think we will see. Okay. Who had a boring time? John. Pretty good. Who had a good time? Laura. Who made an old friend? Laura. Who got home late? Both. Okay. Very good. So your listening is working. 
quiet, well, people. Okay? Now, let's go over the next part. Let's go over the next part. Over here, there's another conversation, but let's see what's going on with this. We're going to have the opportunity to listen to a conversation when where the path of the B is used. Now, we have, you know, we have uh, studied about simple paths um, of the regular and irregular verbs. Okay, we will continue uh, studying about it, but you know, over here we're going to notice about a simple path form of the verb to be. And before listening to the conversation, let us notice about uh, what, what it's all about. You know, uh, we have the verb be. In present, you know, the verb be in present, we have three forms, yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yeah, what are the three forms of the verb be in present? Am, um, is, are. Am, um, is, are. What are the forms? Uh, uh, what, what are the two forms in the simple past? Was and was and was was and where. where? Where can we find it over here? Hi, Don. How was your vacation? How was your vacation? This is the first. It was excellent. Look over here. I went to Hawaii. What, what kind of verse is this one? Regular or irregular? Irregular. That's irregular, right? Very good. With my cozy. We had a great time. What about this verb? Irregular. That's irregular. irregular. Lucky you. How long were you there? Pass. Pass of the verb B. Fantastic. Was the teacher okay? Was. It's a question, as you can see. We have yes, no questions and double H questions with, with the verb B in the past form as well. Not really, it was cloudy most of the time, but we went regular or irregular? Irregular. Irregular verb, right? The ways were, were amazing. So it was a bit thing about the trip. Well, something incredible happened. Regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. You won't believe it. All right, so let's get down to business. Let us listen to the conversation. And we're going to try to finish by uh, signing a homework uh, for you. Listen, please. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with past of B if used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Uh, all right. All right, very good. Now, this is this is an example, right? On how to use simple pass of the verb to be. Uh, you know, we will continue. Of course, we will continue in the next week. Pero quiero dejarles eh, algunas tareas, okay? Yo sé que, pues, primero... Tienen que aprenderse muchos verbos. Mientras más verbos se aprendan, mejor. Y la pronunciación, pues, perfecto. Eh, hay que aprendérselo. Si son los irregulares, pues, hay que memorizar muchos verbos irregulares. ¿Ok? Eh, si son verbos regulares, pues, hay ciertas reglas que ustedes tienen que manejar. Y, por supuesto, las tienen que poner en práctica. Por ejemplo... Eh, la primera tarea que les, que les asignaré es referente a la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado. ¿Cuáles son las reglas? Ok, para pronunciar esos verbos. Ok, hay tres, 
tres diferentes eh, pronunciaciones para los verbos regulares. Ya sabemos que los verbos regulares terminan en ed, todos, en pasado. Pero la pronunciación no es la misma. Entonces, hay reglas. Hay, hay tres reglas para identificar cuándo voy a pronunciar con d, otras con t y otras con it. ¿Ok? Son tres pronunciaciones diferentes. Pero, por supuesto, si yo digo eh, ad, la pronunciación va a ser adir. Ah, pero ahí hay una regla que hay que aprender. Si digo clean, entonces el pasado va a ser cleaned. Hay otra regla ahí. Y si yo digo wash, la pronunciación en pasado va a ser washed. Hay otra pronunciación, tiene que haber otra regla entonces. Entonces, quiero que investiguen referente a eso y que hagan una listita de por lo menos 10 verbos de las tres diferentes pronunciaciones. ¿Ok? Esa es la primera tarea. La segunda tarea, bueno, en realidad van a tener tres tareas, porque este fin de semana deben terminar lo de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eso ya es una tarea que sí es, quizás es la más significativa de todas, porque eso va a quedar registrado en el sistema. ¿Ok? Eso este, denle en suma importancia. Y este, la última tarea es que nos cuenten cómo, fue su, cómo fueron sus últimas vacaciones. ¿Qué hicieron? ¿Qué tomaron? ¿A qué hora se levantaron? Eh, ¿Con quiénes estuvieron? Se, ¿Si se divirtieron? ¿Si la pasaron bien? ¿Si la pasaron eh, aburridos? O, ¿O fue muy, muy divertido? Pues ustedes nos van a contar qué hicieron en sus vacaciones. ¿Ok? Esas son las... Tres tareas que tienen para la próxima semana. ¿Me ayudan con la lista? Voy a pasar la asistencia. Y pues vamos a ver si vamos terminando con la sesión de este día. Recuérdense, la otra semana también vamos a tener clases día viernes. Coach. Ok, let me see. Ok, Adriana, Gretel, Andrea Esmeralda, presente, Claudia Jocelyn, present, David Alonso, present, Francisco Alexander, present, Gabriela Guadalupe, here, Glendy Elisette, here, Ileana Beatriz, I'm here. Irving Hiroki. Hey, I didn't see Hiroki tonight. No se encuentra por acá Hiroki. No. No. Eh, Jennifer Raquel. Present. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Josué Miguel. Here. Carla Tatiana. Present. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luisa Ariana. Luisa, are you there? Luisa. Mayra Patricia. Mayra. Nerling. I'm here, teacher. John C. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Solo voy a, voy a reafirmar. Eh, Hiroki, no lo visualizamos, no lo escuchamos en el grupo. Eh, Luisa, eh, Mayra Patricia. Okay. So, let me see. Uh, now, if you have any question, uh, any comment, this is the time, people. And let me see. I, I, I want to say something just before leaving. Quiero, quiero agradecerles que siempre estén este, en la disposición de participar activamente en la clase. Los felicito a todos los que participaron. Y les animo a los demás que también lo hagan en las, en las diferentes sesiones. Um, esta noche empezamos con pasado simple. Espero que eh, todo haya quedado claro. 
Y si no, pues todavía tenemos cinco minutos por si alguien tiene dudas al respecto. Coach, eh, yo no logré comprender las tres tareas, solo lo de la primera, que es la pronunciación okay. de los verbos en pasado. Okay, Gracias. La... Ok, la pronunciación de los verbos regulares, ok, son tres. Eh, ustedes van a investigar cuáles son la, los tres sonidos que hay que pronunciar y hay que, hay que decirlo bien cuando hablamos, ok. Identificar cuáles son esos verbos, ok, y buscar las reglas, porque hay reglas, ok. Yo tengo una que es súper sencilla, pero voy a ver, voy a esperar hasta el día lunes a ver qué es lo que ustedes investigan. Y este, si, si alguien pues obtiene la, 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 la versión más sencilla, pues entonces pues yo ya me voy a quedar calladito. Si, 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 no, si no la consiguen, pues yo les voy a explicar cómo, cómo reconocer la pronunciación de esos verbos de una manera muy fácil. Esa es la primera tarea. La segunda tarea... Que, que es prácticamente resolver todas las actividades de la plataforma de la, de la sección 2. Eso es sumamente importante. Tienen el día de mañana y tienen el día domingo para terminarlo. Ok, recuérdense que esas actividades quedan registradas en el sistema y es de suma importancia que ustedes las completen. Y la tarea número 3 es que nos hablen o que nos hagan una pequeña presentación de cómo fueron sus vacaciones. Ok, por supuesto, lo que yo estoy buscando es que ustedes utilicen el pasado simple. Ok. ¿Hay alguna I got it, otra gracias. duda? You got it? All right. Is there any other question? ¿Hay alguna otra duda, algún otro comentario? No, for me. Not for you. Ok. Ok, todo está bien, todo está claro. Pues realmente lo felicito nuevamente porque pues han hecho un buen trabajo, están haciendo un buen trabajo y el, el lunes vamos a continuar. Ok, no crean que bueno, ya hoy vimos el paso, pasado simple y esto ya estuvo. No, eh, de, eh, de hecho, el lunes van a practicar, ya van a poner en práctica lo que vimos ahora, ¿verdad? incluyendo lo que, lo que estoy, les estoy solicitando, que es que busquen la pronunciación correcta de los verbos. O sea, el lunes me voy a enfocar en escucharlos y, y ver cuán, cuán bien están aplicando lo que han ido a investigar. ¿Ok? ¿Les parece, Carla? Eh, solo la, vamos a investigar sobre las reglas de pronunciación sobre los verbos irregulares, ¿verdad? ¿Solo los verbos irregulares o no, ambos? Son los, los regulares. Ah, los regulares. Los regulares, los que terminan en ED. Ok, gracias. Ajá, porque los irregulares, miren, para los, los regulares, los que terminan en ED, hay tres reglas okay, de pronunciación. Para los irregulares, la regla es que no hay regla. O sea, esos se memorizan sí o sí. Eh, entonces, pero con los regulares sí, ya uno ya sabe que, que la pronunciación va a ser de tal manera dependiendo la regla que uno, que uno vaya a investigar, ¿ok? Pero los irregulares no, esos cambian, cambian en su escritura, en, en, en la mayoría de ellos y por supuesto la pronunciación. Así que pues espero verlos el lunes, ánimo porque lo están haciendo muy bien y... Sigamos adelante. Have a nice weekend and see you on Monday. Okay. Same, Good night, same for you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend, everyone.